Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm here to challenge you to dream bigger. As you know, the world is always changing and that change is getting faster and faster. And that means the world of work is going to look very different by the time we get there and have our own careers. So we need to be ready. We need to be curious, passionate and inspired. We need to be confident, driven and ambitious. And if we believe in ourselves, then we can achieve anything. So let's start with your why. Simon Sinek is a famous entrepreneur and optimist. He suggests starting with your why. Why do you do what you do? Or finding your purpose as it's also called. So what's your purpose? What's your why? The definition of purpose is a person's sense of resolve or determination. It's your drive, your passion in life and why you are motivated to do something. Imagine a world in which everyone is inspired to go to work and comes home buzzing from the work that they do. Finding something that you can get passionate about is so important. It might be sport, traveling the world, or art and design, or even developing the new Snapchat. But whatever it is, it's the thing that makes us feel more confident and fulfilled in our life. So let's take a closer look. There are four defining features of your purpose. First up is dedicated commitment which means that you take the time you need to work at something. Then there's personal meaningfulness, which means it's got to get you fired up and really passionate. Next is goal directedness, which means is it something you can work towards? And finally, there's a vision bigger than self, which basically means look at the big picture. Does your purpose match with where you want to be in the future? Does it sit well with your vision of your future self? So have a think about it. Do you know what your purpose is yet? I mean, think about your passions, what motivates you, and most importantly, where you see yourself in the future. And if you're not there yet, then that's fine, that's okay. So many of us don't know what our purpose is yet. It just, it takes time. But we can't think our way into our life's passion and purpose. We have to do our way in. That means taking steps towards what you want and getting rid of things in your life that you don't want. Here are some top tips to help you identify your passions and eventually your purpose. Take action. Just do it. So instead of overthinking it like, will this work out? Should I try that? What if I don't like it? Instead of thinking things like that, start taking steps towards your goals and start thinking of new things. This will help you identify the things you like and the things you don't like. And eventually you will come across your purpose in life. And now, number two. Your heart is a great tool to access your true purpose and passion. Ask yourself, what do you love? What thing do you do that makes you forget about everything else when you're doing it? Make sure it's realistic too though and fits with your vision which we spoke about before. Start taking steps to do what you love. By following your heart and doing what you love, you're naturally happier and more inspired and motivated to fulfill your potential. How often do we hear someone say, she was born to do that? It's a common misconception that we were born to have just one passion or purpose in life. So if you follow your heart, you will discover multiple passions and many things that will make you happy. And when you lead a passionate life, you are living your life on purpose or living a purposeful life. Consider that the real purpose of anyone's life is to live your best life. Try to be real and in the moment and enjoy everything that you do. By following your heart, and doing what makes you happy, you'll be more purposeful and fulfilled, no matter what you end up doing. You just, you need to dream bigger.